Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So my topic of the day, RG3 wants an ownership stake in the Washington Commanders and ways to support the channel, consider liking and subscribing to Belmont if I support sports for the cause. We support children and adults with special needs like autism. So just reported yesterday that RG3, <laughs> RG3 wants an ownership stake in the team. And a lot of fans are like, okay, do RG3 even have that type of money to even come on board? So RG3 stated yesterday he's been talking to the Harris, Josh Harris, and the uh, Magic Johnson partnership team to place a bid on the Washington Commanders. Yesterday came out that they placed the $6 billion um, a bid for the team. And there's also one other owner group. So it's two owner group teams that placed bids on the Commanders so far at $6 billion. So RG3 basically said that it's a dream come true for him to possibly be a board in ownership. Of course, we all know he was drafted by the Commanders. Well, I'm sorry, the Redskins at the time. And he did get us to that, that playoff uh, game that first season. But if we all remember, they were playing the, uh, against the Ravens. Haloti Nada rolled up on RG3's leg. And that was basically the end of RG3's career. Now, for me, you know, I was a firefighter for 20 years. And one, I didn't work that game, but my co-workers worked that game. And they were the ones that transported RG3 to the ER. I don't know if they went to PG um, Hospital Center and transported them. I think that's where they transported them there. So I re actually have, you know, remember, remember that day when he got injured. But, you know, I don't I don't know if, if he has that type of money or not. I don't know. It's not for me to say. I don't know the man finances. But, you know, could it be a possible good fit for RG3 to be aboard the ownership team? He knows some ins and out of the team. Um, he was part of the upbuilding of the team at one point. But, you know, who knows? He could possibly bring a lot of stuff, a lot of insight to the team as being a player and now possibly being some type of ownership fashion. Um, we'll see that. Um, but it seems like the Harris and Johnson team will be actually the, the new owners. Now, the NFL meetings are still going on as we speak right now. Who knows, you know, what we might get some news in the next few months is possibly after the draft or might be before the NFL draft. So who will, who will sees? But you also misstated that, you know, the fans here, they're tired. It's been a long time full of nonsense with this team and ownership. And maybe after the dance night is thrown out or sorry, sells the team. Maybe DC will end up throwing a, um, a parade <laughs> just, just to, to get rid of him and start anew. You know, it's a possibility that the new ownership might get rid of the name. Commanders might pick up another name. Might even get rid of uh, Major Tutty as the mascot. So, who knows? But what are your thoughts and opinion? You think RG3 would be a possible good owner or a good fit for the Washington Commanders? So, you guys, be safe. Take care of yourself. And don't forget to support Beltway Night 5 Sports. Thank you.